You found another powerful edition of The Brew, Jersey Joe, Ion, and you live or on YouTube, or as we always tell you, those of you watching the fine rebroadcast, and a fine rebroadcast that it is. Question for this week's episode that we put out on social media is, what celebrity should have a meal named after them? It's the new thing at fast food restaurants where right? I to name a meal after a celebrity. Hopefully you will buy it. So the question is, what celebrity do you think should have a meal named after them, and what do you think that meal would be? Joel looks like he eats tons of fast food out there in Vegas. I know he doesn't, but uh, maybe the dog does. I don't know. But anyhow, Joel, what uh, type of what celebrity should have a meal name after him, and then what would it be? Oh man! Uh, first of all, there's some really good answers already for this, but I'm going to give you one that's way off the wall. Like I like that uh, that they gave Travis Scott his burger at McDonald's, or like when you and I and Bart were in uh, Pittsburgh and we got the Permani, we got HBK for the 2016 or 2017 Penguins, and then. Um, uh, who else has a good one? Oh, Ben Roethlisberger has one at the Market Square, one in Pittsburgh. So I like like little stuff like that, and they work. By the way, they even have like wrap snacks. I'm not like, I have some. Hold on. Ooh, a live demonstration. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I was not prepared for that, but let's see how this goes. And uh, in the meantime, let's have the dog get on the couch here and uh, fill the dead air. <laughs> no. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I got wrap snacks. Oh. Yes. I got a, I got a whole bunch of these. But what they are is just it's basically just nothing. It's a celebrity's face on it. Mine, my specific answer, I'm just going to give you a random one because I'm pretty sure we're going to get a bunch of normal answers. But I want to see a Triumph the Insult Comic Dog hot dog at the Wiener Circle in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> For you to poop on. Be fun. <laughs> that, it, that's a great answer. I love Triumph. It's amazing. That's, <laughs> that is pretty It should be an What about you? What do you think? Well, it should be also just super dark and charred brown. You know, Holly's like, you know, Holly's his fur is like dark brown. So it should like match his color. You know, charred on one side, we get like half uncharred on the other. So yeah, yeah, like a little brown, a little black, like mixed in there. <laughs> a little ketchup bow tie. <laughs> oh, they don't like ketchup out there, but Not you know, know, with his, with the way that he does it and the way the Wiener Circle is out there, like they could find, they could come up with something. I'm, I'm positive. I love that answer. That, that that's great. I think you're gonna like my answer as well because I would say. Mario and Luigi should have their own meal. Any restaurant, because what you do, like say it's a McDonald's does it, for example. Well, they can put mushrooms yeah. on the burger. They can put mushrooms on the fries. You put mushrooms on everything, and that becomes a Mario and Luigi burger. I think that's a perfect tie-in. You can even come up with, like, a star. You know how they have the invincibility star? You could come up with that little star as, like, a dessert or something. They're, they could do a lot with that, and that would reach more ages than, than my answer would. <laughs> yeah, because everybody knows Mario and Luigi. Yeah, absolutely. right, right. Everybody likes them from like our age group growing up, and then kids now they still make good games. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a great answer. Well, Joel, our viewers of course have lots of great answers, and they are there are a few doozies coming up here. So uh, if you didn't All peek right. already, <laughs> let's go. Here we go. Starman says Bill Cosby the meal would come with a Jello pudding pop and something else that would cause you not to remember eating the meal. Rafa Guitar says Prince a purple brain sandwich with raspberry beret tarts. DJ says a Kevin Bacon burger and to wash it down with some George Bush light. That's my favorite answer. I mean, who doesn't want a hamburger with bacon on it? And then you're going to give people a free beer on the side? Perfect for a drinking show like this. Better than saying Bush beans. Bush big beans. <laughs> Do you remember Bush beer? Do they have Bush beer out there? That might be an East Coast thing. I don't get it. I, I, I don't like it. But uh, yes, I have, I, I have had it before. I just, it's not a preferred choice for me. But yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's everywhere. It's interesting that, that that was brought up for the show because a couple of weeks ago here in the New Jersey, New York City area, we were talking about a couple weeks ago at the bar, and you can't get bush beer here right now. It might be like Philadelphia area, but I haven't seen it here in a long time, and I can't remember the last time I had one. It's okay beer. I mean, Joe, it's like a step up from Coors Light. Joe, there's a video on my Instagram of you and me getting bush beer at uh, one of the bars on the strip. <laughs> there's a video on my Instagram of you and me getting one. <laughs> um, not surprised. That's, that's, I'm also not surprised I don't remember that. That's uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Rock Guitar has another one. He says, Arby should introduce the Jersey Joe number two, a vegetarian salad bowl filled with tofu, raw vegetables, and sprouts, topped with walnuts, and a gentle sprinkling of red wine vinegar. Well, yes, I do love my Arby's. I love Arby's name a meal after me, but no, not something with tofu. I hate tofu. Probably even worse than my hatred for eggs. Todd says, Western Plaza Movie Theater has done that for as long as I can remember. Now for my celebrity nomination, Burt Reynolds. Hey, remember Burt Reynolds? Remember his movies? Uh, I remember Just the Longest Yard, pretty much. The remake. <laughs> That's it. That's all I know him from. 
Yeah, I mean, older people, older, like, would, like, would say, like, Smoking the Bandit in the 80s. Those were always pretty good, fun movies. For oh, yeah, season. yeah. Those are classics. Yeah, classic movies. But um, Todd mentions about Westwood Plaza Theater, and it's interesting he brought that up because I didn't think about that when you and I talked about the show. But the Westwood Plaza Theater back home in Pennsylvania was one of the first places that I can remember that actually would name meals after celebrities. It was an old, like, 70s movie theater, but in the 90s, like, make money. They took out every row of seats and put in tables and would serve you meals. And the one I loved was a chicken sandwich meal what called Marilyn Monroe, but they had like a Jerry Lewis. So they were on it before, like, you know, how McDonald's is doing it now. It was actually kind of yeah. a cool thing that I totally didn't even think about. So nice little tie-in for our web show here. I like it. It works. Those are cool. Those I like unique answers like that. You gave a unique answer. I gave one. We got a lot of good ones. I like the ones that uh, a lot of the companies have already come up with as well. Well, the final answer here, it's it's my favorite one for the show, so I held it to the last on purpose. But Liz says, J-Lo's baby's got back ribs. I'm tired. <laughs> all okay. right. All right. <laughs> I think a lot of people would try. A lot of dudes would definitely go for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah every dude maybe except A-Rod. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You got to. <laughs> yeah. Forget about that. That's not going to sell well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, you know what always sells well? When you click that like and subscribe button down below for all the fun here in the Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel. Lots more talk, lots more fun. Four big shows waiting for you each and every week. And um, I, I, these answers are pretty creative. I'm, I got to admit now, once again, here we go with the food shows, Joel, and I see you holding up the thing. I'm hungry once again after all this food talk. Oh, man. After, after this, I'm going to go get a... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to go get. I'm going to go find a celebrity. I'm going to go to Guy Fieri's place down the street. And just punch him in the face. And then that'll be the end of the day. There you go. <laughs> nice, nice. I had the Travis Scott meal a couple of weeks ago. It was, it was fine. It was, it was cheaper than getting like the, the individual items separate from Burger King. It even came in a little box like in the commercial. Would you recommend it? Yeah, for the price price point here in the New York area, yeah, absolutely. It was definitely it was six bucks for that whole meal. But if you'd buy that outright, you're definitely over $10, I mean, for Burger King. Oh, yeah. That is a good deal, man. Cool. So I guess let me sure wrap up the show by saying, I guess for these restaurants, that the celebrity meal ideas do apparently work, and apparently our viewers like them. So keep them coming, and you keep joining us here each and every week. Jersey Joe, Ion, and you saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, I hope. Yeah.